Hey guys, so I'm looking a little bit of a hot mess right now. I got a spray tan and I was kind of sunburnt before and my hair looks really, really blonde. I mean, like I did get it like more blonde, but it looks really, really blonde now. And yeah, I'm just looking a hot mess. So we're just gonna preface that, get it out of the way and move on. Um, so today I'm really, really excited because I'm finally sharing with you guys that me and my mom are going to Europe. Um, so for my graduation present, which I'm so, 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 so thankful for, um, and just so grateful for, um, not going to get into the touching of the hair, but my mom and I are going to Europe and we are going to Paris, Italy, and Switzerland um, for two weeks, and I'm just so excited. And I wanted to bring you guys along for the journey, so I will have like little travel diaries, but I also wanted to show you guys a little bit of like my packing and like stuff like that. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to call this video um, because I was going to do like a packing video, but. It is crazy right now. So we leave on July 6th, and today is the 3rd. Today is my brother's birthday. Tomorrow is 4th of July. The 5th is my niece's birthday, and then we leave. So it's kind of crazy right now. And I think that it will just be better to show you some of like my key things, and um, then you'll be able to see in pictures and just everything else like that. So... We went through a travel agent because my mom has been to Europe, but she was in college and they were through like a travel company. Um, she went for like a whole summer and she said it was so amazing. They traveled literally all through Europe. And so she kind of gave me, because I've never been, and she kind of gave me some advice on like just some places that we should go. So we were going to Paris for five or six days and then we go to... Switzerland for three days and then we go to um, the Riviera of Italy for three more days and then we come home and so I went to Paris because that is a place that I've always wanted to go to and it's just like I feel like kind of have to go to Paris and so we're going to Paris and then Switzerland um, I just like remember my mom telling me stories about like they would wake up in the mountains and like it was like brisk and cool and you could hear the cows like their cowbells and that just sounded like such a cool experience and something that I really wanted to experience and it's just so different from all the other places that we're going and then Italy we wanted to go to Cinque Terre I believe it's called um I'll put it right here, but it's actually really hard to get to, and our travel agent was like, the, all the places you're going, like, we can't get you there. So we are actually going to Santa Margarita, making sure my mic is on, we're going to Santa Margarita, and then we are going to take a little day trip to Cinque Terre, and... Yeah, so I'm really excited because just all of the pictures of all of these places look so beautiful. And my next trip, I want to go to Greece. It just looks amazing also. So let me know down below if you guys have been to any of these places, if you have any advice or anything like that, because I'm a total newbie and don't really know anything. So I did so much research on like literally everything. And we bought like a whole bunch of Rick Steves books, which apparently he's like, the guru for traveling in Europe and a whole bunch of his books. I've been reading a whole bunch of blogs and all sorts of stuff. And so here is kind of like what I've come up with. So I'm going to show you guys my suitcase. We did get new suitcases, um, just two, um, a bigger one and a smaller one because our suitcases right now are just two wheels and we got four wheel ones because let's be honest they look really cool like walking down the airport you just look more snazzy but that's not really why we got them because they are a lot easier to carry around and like maneuver places and we are going to be taking trains from place to place and so we need to be able to personally take them places so I will show you my suitcase because it's very large and I want to get it out of the way how are we gonna do this? So, so 
So I actually researched a bunch of suitcases and the best type of suitcase, like a hard suitcase, a soft sided suitcase, you know, four wheels, two wheels, whatever. And this is kind of what I came up with. Um, it is a Samsonite Dorado LTD and we got ours from Marshalls because they're a lot cheaper. So ugh, this is what it looks like. You can't really see anything. And it's heavy. So we got that because just out of a whole bunch of research, the four wheels was the best and a more durable soft side was the best just because it like hard sides they just kind of get beat up a little bit more and they show wear more and I don't really remember all of why but I will leave some links down below for stuff so then we also got these Amazon basic packing cubes now this was one of the things that was like on every single blog was like you must do is get packing cubes so we just got these from Amazon with Amazon Prime you know it's great um, and it comes with four so it comes with one big one and then the next size and then the next and the next so these this is really great for like underwear and socks so those packing cubes, well I mean like packing cubes in general, are really really great just for keeping everything really organized and especially since we're going to be going to multiple places. It's not like we're just going to one place where we can just unpack everything in the drawers and we'll be good. We are going to multiple places so we kind of need to be as efficient as possible. So we got packing cubes and my mom actually went to South America earlier last month and kind of like tested out all of our little travel things and she said that they were really helpful. So then another thing we got, which are kind of nerdy, but um, since we do have black suitcases, she said that it was kind of hard to, like everyone kind of has black suitcases and we have like a little, you know, tag on it that's pink, but it's still really hard. So we got suitcase straps um, and it's from Amazon Prime and it's Blue Costo or something. I'll link it down below. But so it like goes around your suitcase this way and this way. So that way it's really easy to spot your suitcase and yeah because no one wants to be sitting there forever looking for a suitcase. So then I also got, this is just from TJ Maxx, a little passport and luggage tag set. I had been looking for a passport cover for a really long time and like I kind of wanted to get a nice one but um, I ended up just getting this one. It's just pink with, and it's really not a very good material, or like very high quality. I'm not going to be using this just because this is really cheap. Um, but this, I mean, this set was only $8. And I might pick up a nicer one while I'm there or something. But I just wanted like a little passport cover. Just because I think they're cute. <laughs> so then another thing that I got kind of for this trip, but kind of also just for fun. And I researched these a whole bunch. And it is a little faux pro, as I like to call it. Because it's not a GoPro. It's a fake GoPro. And it is the Activio, Activon. CX and this is just what okay so the packaging actually looks like this it comes like this but um here's what this looks like and it was $119.99 but it was actually on sale for like $80 which is amazing and so it looks exactly like the GoPro um all of the like accessories are, for the GoPro are the same. This is just what it looks like and one of the main things that I really wanted is it has an LCD screen on the back which makes it really really handy and this is also you can connect it to your iPhone or your smartphone and um, it has Wi-Fi so you can like hook this up somewhere or something. Sorry. You can hook this up somewhere and have it on your phone so you don't have to be directly behind this to see what's going on. You can see it on your phone um, see what's going on. So I got that because I'm going to be using it because, okay, so one of the things that was really making me kind of anxious about my trip is like being able to document all of it. I, you know, I'm going to be taking pictures. I'm going to be, you know, Snapchatting and I was really kind of anxious oh. about not quite sure where I was because I had to, 
empty out my camera card, but I was just kind of like anxious about being able to kind of capture everything. Um, it's kind of part of like my OCD anxiety stuff, but so what I'm doing is you know, like I wanted to vlog the experience, I wanted to do all of that, but I think it's just gonna be too much. So I'm gonna be using this GoPro and be filming stuff like here and there. I've also got my mom with me, so maybe I'll just strap the GoPro to her and she can be like my little person. But so, I also got this Vivitar rubberized spider tripod and it looks like this and this is also from Amazon this is not sponsored by Amazon Amazon is just the bomb and this is the small size but I also have the large size and this was recommended through some research also and it is just apparently the best I'll show you guys because of the little rubberized spider leg things come on focus it really grips onto things and it doesn't break easily because like you know the ones with the balls sometimes they break and just different stuff like that so that is kind of I don't know that stuff I also have a um, plug adapter but I don't know where it is because my mom used it last when she was in South America and yeah so then one of the other things that I got is this event event planner this isn't what I wanted to show you guys I wanted to show you guys my travel planner but it's the same concept so it's a travel planner from recollections at Michael's and it's just a place where I can put everything and you know have all of my information written down and um, also like you know put what we did each day and different things like that because I am you know as many of you guys may know I do plan a lot like my planner and so that way if I don't want to be planning while I'm there I can take that information home and plan afterwards um, but so yeah so I would definitely recommend one of those the travel planner from recollections at Michaels just a way to kind of keep everything all together all of your information um, just kind of in one place and I wanted to share with you guys a couple of apps that I oh this is weird because I just opened up snapchat and so now it's like I'm talking here and talking there anyways um, a couple of apps that I downloaded for the trip so the first one is called Metro and it just looks like this and it is for the Paris Metro link but I believe you can download um, yeah you can you click get cities and you can download like a boatload of cities their metro link their bus links um, and all of that kind of stuff and it'll give you like maps and everything like that which is really helpful and then I also got the app called next stop Paris which what is going on I'm not exactly sure what this is but it was recommended and yeah so that's that and the last app that I got was Google Translate which is like really amazing um, so it's got you can type in so like just straight up like type you know hello or you can write which is really interesting like I don't know why you would need to do this but like you can say like And it like does it for you. Really interesting. And then you can also talk into it. Okay, I'm done. Go away. So you can talk into it. Hello. Ciao. Hello. Ciao. What is your name? Come ti chiami? So then you can like speak into it. And if you're with someone and they're not. If you're with someone and they're not really understanding what you're trying to say, you could be like, hey, listen here. And then you can also take pictures of signs, which I think is amazing. So if there's like a sign or something that you don't understand what it says, you can literally take a picture of it and Google Translate will tell you what it is. Mind blowing. Um, but yeah, so then, which was kind of another thing that I was a little bit nervous about is the language barrier but my mom does know French pretty well and I know some German I took three years but they were a little rocky and so Switzerland and Switzerland they speak German French 
something else. I don't know. And then Italy. Um, we're just going to kind of have to wing it there. But... So then I want to show you guys some of my like clothing, shoe, essentials. So we are going to be walking around a boatload and we wanted really, really comfortable shoes. So, and we were kind of planning for like hot summertime, but it's actually really not going to be as hot as it is here, um, which actually it's really weird because it's been like boiling hot outside, but right now it's like 60 and I'm cold um, and it's raining, but... Of course. Anyways, so we both got a pair of Birkenstocks and I will be the first one to tell you that I am not a Birkenstocks kind of girl. Um, they are just not really my cup of tea, but I have kind of grown to like them. Um, but the main reason that I really like them is they are insanely, insanely comfortable. Once you kind of break them in a little bit, they have, this is like the Giza pair I believe and they have like the most amazing arch support and like they got a little toe support in here it's just really really comfortable and I would I would recommend going a size down because I initially got a size 7 which is the size I am and they fit but they weren't as comfortable and I got a size 6 and they are so much more comfortable and they just fit perfectly and they're just amazing. So we got those. And then we kind of, I don't know where to put these. And then we kind of realized that it's not going to be like boiling hot and that we're not really going to want to wear sandals every day. So one of my friends is actually studying abroad in France right now and she recommended booties and so of course I had to go buy a pair so I got these and they are from DSW I also got my Birkenstocks from DSW and these are the crown vintage brand and they are a size 7 they just look like this and I made sure that they didn't have a super steep heel because I'm gonna be walking around in them a lot and they will just be perfect with jeans and yeah, so and they're really cute. Um, so that's what I got. Speaking of jeans, a thing that I've read in a lot of blogs and tips and everything like that is in Paris you don't wear shorts. You can wear dresses and jeans, but you just don't wear shorts. It like really spots you out as a tourist and you also get like whistled at by a lot of guys and like just kind of made really uncomfortable if you're a female. So those will be perfect with jeans. And then I will show this last, but I got this cardigan and it is by Shamira and I got it at Nordstrom Rack, but it's originally $47 and I got it on sale for $26. That is just what the little brand looks like. And it is this really, really big, like flowy cardigan, but it is the freaking softest material you will ever feel. Does it say what kind of material it is? No. But so I'm going to be bringing this on the plane and just like perfect for just like snuggling up in. I just think something like this is so essential because it's really comfy and cute. So then another thing that we had kind of been on the search for for a while other than shoes is purses because you really want to have a crossbody bag because there's a lot of pickpocketers and I know it's kind of scary and it's kind of freaking me out a little bit but you just kind of have to be aware and the more aware you are the better prepared you'll be and the less likely it will be that you get pickpocketed and I just think it's so interesting because it's such a different culture than here in America um, but I'm really excited to experience the culture so I got which I've been wanting one of these forever anyways but I got the Rebecca Minkoff Mac bag and I purposefully got the Mac instead of the mini Mac just because I wanted a lot more space I almost got the granddaddy Mac I believe is what it's called but that just looked way too huge so this is what it looks like I actually got it off eBay for $50 which was a really really good deal and this is what it looks like and the inside and so um, another thing as far as purses go is you want a really thick strap or a chain so that way people can't just walk by and cut your purse which they do which is just so like I don't know it just kind of really makes me nervous and it's just crazy that there's people out there like that but so I got this purse and I thought I would just invest a little bit more 
in it and be able to use it for a really, really long time. So that is everything so far. All of my little like tips and information and everything like that. I may do a packing video, like fully packing. It just kind of depends on how my timeline and everything lines up, but yeah. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys this dress. I got it from Plato's Closet. I believe it's from Target. Yeah, it's from Target. And it is just an example of something that's like really perfect because it is a little bit of cooler weather, but you still want to be cute. So it is this dress. Let me step back here. And it has a little tie here and it's got pockets, which is always great. And then... It is like kind of cut on the sides. It's got a little bit of slit and it's just got a really pretty um, like bottom to it. And it's just something perfect for like Switzerland or something. I don't know. <laughs> so that is everything. Like I said, I will try to do a packing video if I can. If not, make sure to stay up to date with my Instagram and everything like that. You will see all of my outfits on there. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my orange tanned face. I'm just kidding. It won't look like this next time, hopefully. And yeah, so follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!